everyone, and welcome to the 200th ejection of the season. But first, we divert to Kansas City, which I can't leave as much as I want to get away. The bases are loaded, but watch third base during this play. One, and the runner took a big turn. What the Mariners are going to argue here. Service gestures and says he touched him. Talking about the third base coach and the runner. Look for the contact. Beatty rounds third base and comes up to the coach. Beatty, Beatty. High five and slides back safely. Oh, John Lipka, that glare from the watch. Gee whiz. Service once he touched him, he should be out. The umpires get together, which means we go to the rule book. 601A8. It is interference by a batter or runner when in the judgment of the umpire, the third base coach, first base coach, by touching or holding the runner, physically assists them in returning to or leaving third or first base. Touching, you'll notice, is only part of the rule. Physical assistance is required. So just by touching doesn't mean you necessarily have a violation. The umpire has to judge that that touching physically assisted the runner in returning to the base. The question is, is this just a get out of my way high five or a I'm going to bounce off of you and use you as leverage to return to third high five? If it's the former, an innocent high five is nothing. If it's the latter, the runner is out for base coach assist. As the umpires confer, Angel Hernandez casually walks away. He wants nothing to do with this, apparently. James Hoy and Rayburn go talk to service and say this was an innocent high five. It did not assist the runner, so we have no call. Welcome to the Crosstown Series. Present Meanwhile, in Chicago, we're going to start with a post-game press conference, which is kind of weird, but you'll see why in a second. That situation today was just weird. I mean, a blatant balk that just was missed. So he obviously was right, and he had his right to be upset. Uh, there's just things like that that can't happen in big spots in the game. So he he's always tuned into the game. He sees what's going on. To the sixth inning, where David Ross is tuned into the game. Oh, I could use a trance. Oceanic transistor radio. That's what I'm saying. Didn't want him to go. Anyway, this is Lane Ramsey, rookie pitcher for Chicago. The other Chicago. He has never faced the Cubs before. This is his fourth MLB game. Because we started at the end, we know the ejection is because of... I mean, a blatant balk that just was missed, so... So that means can't have a balk with no runners on. We wait for the first base runner in the bottom of the sixth. I'm only interested in the set position and delivery. Where do you think is the Bach? What is the missed Bach call? As we run through these, we're looking for failures to stop in set before delivery. We're looking for start, stop, leg flinches, knee pops, any of these things. He might be on the move. It took me about three or four times to learn. Anyone else hear that random organ note that's going on during the pitch? About three or four times to learn. Here's the rule. If it disrupts play... Yeah, that's on you. You can address it if it's extraordinarily unusual, but it didn't affect anything here. Check swing and... Yeah, I think yeah, he went. Yeah. Back to Bach Patrol, and I think I figured it out. With a man at second. This pitcher has a rock a leg-to-leg -leg motion as he's coming set. And that's what I think Ross is upset about. The catch is, he's doing it nearly every pitch. So it's a habitual thing he does. And when we look at the Bach rules, makes any motion naturally associated is usually what we get. But we can't get that here because that motion is not naturally associated with his pitch. Going through all 13 of them, nothing directly applies, which is kind of super frustrating if you're on Chicago. That Chicago. And a shortstop will make the catch. The inning ends with the catch, and the ejection comes during the break. Left side of your screen. I mean, the heave ho. David Ross and Trip Gibson. No, you know what? I'm not really sure what he's beefing about. Knowing what it's all about, I'm looking at Ross is doing footwork. Gibson is doing hands together. It's about pitching. It's about coming set and what the feet are doing there. I need to clarify something. I'm calling it rock baby, but that's actually a move from Luis Garcia during delivery that is now a balk. It is explicitly illegal. And the difference between that, the reason that's illegal, and what this pitcher is doing is legal is because the Garcia rock by baby routine, he is actually doing that after he starts his delivery. Here, the pitcher is doing it only when he's coming set, has a definitive stop point, 
and then starts delivery. That's why this one is actually, surprisingly, legal. Whoa, 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 whoa. Gibson's giving it right back to him. Crew Chief Carlson comes in and y'all know exactly what's gonna happen now. But before we go on this super crazy ejection. David Ross got his money's worth in a big way from the third base umpire, Trip Gibson.